Welcome to Scarlet and Natalia Toys Review. We have a Mr. Man book. Mr. Man, Mr. Perfect. All right, let's begin our book. Mr. Perfect. It was a perfect summer's day. And on this perfect summer's day, Mr. Perfect was looking even more perfect than usual. He didn't have a hair out of place. Mr. Perfect lived in Tip Top Cottage. And on this perfect summer's day, his house was also looking even more perfect than usual. Not a curtain out of place. How very kind of you, he said when he saw that all his guests had brought wonderful looking presents. Please do come in. And if no one minds, we'll open the presents later. Nobody minded in the least. Well, almost nobody. What's that? roared Mr. Uppity. I don't have any time to waste. You know, you'd better make sure we don't get bored today. Do you think this upset Mr. Perfect? Of course not. Mr. Perfect had perfect manners, unlike Miss Rude, Mr. Uppity. Oh no, my dear Mr. Uppity, we won't be bored today, he replied. First of all, we shall dance. And everybody danced, even Mr. Uppity. But although he danced, Mr. Uppity couldn't manage a smile. Unfortunately, Mr. Clumsy, being his usual clumsy self, broke a pile of plates. Do you think this upset Mr. Perfect? Not at all. Don't worry, Mr. Clumsy, said Mr. Perfect. And being the perfect person he was, and not in the least bit clumsy, he produced a whole lot more plates. Made of cardboard. Then he brought in a cake. It was huge. It looked wonderful and it smelled terrific. And Mr. Greedy thought it tasted delicious. He gobbled up the whole cake in three seconds flat. There wasn't a crumb left for anybody else. Do you think this upset Mr. Perfect? Not in the least. Being, mis being perfect, he had already guessed that would happen. Quickly, he brought out lots of small cakes. There were plenty for everybody, even Mr. Perfect. But as he was not greedy, he only ate one. One cake was just perfect for him. Once everything had been eaten, Mr. Perfect opened his presents. He said many thank yous as there were presents. Well, not quite. What about my present? Cried Mr. Stingy. Mr. Stingy's parcel was so small that Mr. Perfect had not seen it. Mr. Perfect opened the tiny parcel wrapped in newspaper. There it is, right there. Oh, Mr. Stingy, said Mr. Perfect, you've given me a lump of coal. How kind of you, it's delightful. If I had known, I'd have given him half a lump, grumbled Mr. Stingy. <laughs> That's it, I've had enough, cried Mr. Uppity suddenly. I'm fed up with you, Mr. Perfect. And do you know why? I'll tell you, I have discovered that <laughs> there is a most enormous, unbearable, exasperating fault with you. Would you be so kind as to tell me what that might be? Asked Mr. Perfect as politely as ever. Do you understand? Cried Mr. Uppity. Your fault is that you have no faults. That's your fault, Mr. Perfect. <laughs> That's wonderful. This is the end of our book. Thank you for tuning into our channel. Please give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mr. Man Book, Mr. Perfect.